Well, the name of the movie is called The Incredible Anton Marvelton. I'm sorry, it's The Incredible Burt Wonderstone. I play Anton Marvelton. And um, this is probably one of the sweetest, if not the sweetest, nicest man I think I've ever played. He's just a real sweetheart. Um, and he's uh, uh, just enamored with magic and with his, his magical friend, Bert Wonderstone. He, uh, he, really, he really loves Bert and he loves doing magic and that's all he really wants out of life is to just keep doing magic with Bert. And Steve has just great ideas. He's really, really smart. He's really smart about not only comedy, but about character. And so that's what I found really fascinating, you know, how he kind of thinks to make his character, uh, you know, really based in reality, you know, really start, you know, grounded. And then he takes off from, from there, you know, because the things he does are just really, really funny. But, um, but it all starts from a real, a real place. When Steve started improvising in some of these scenes, it, you know, it, it kind of threw me at first because I didn't know if I was allowed to respond. <laughs> but uh, um, the more we worked together, uh, you know, the other thing about him is that he's such a great listener. So if I threw something at, at him, he would just immediately pick up on it and go with it. And um, it's just really a joy, you know, to be able to find somebody that, that you can uh, kind of be on the same wavelength and, and go off. And Don Scardino encourages it. I never use this term, but he really is a comic genius. You know, it's, um, you watch him and the amount of expressions that he, you know, has access to um, and that he could just, you know, pull out, you know, and, you know, you just kind of watch and you go, oh my God, and you have to then remember that you're in a scene, you know, and you also have to act with him. You can't just watch and be an audience member, even though that's what I, that's, that's what I want to do. I mean, I've never been taken out of my character so much as when I'm in a scene with him because I just want to, I'm just, I just want to watch. I'm sure I've danced somewhere on film before, but, um, this really afforded me the opportunity to, you know, sort of go for it. And a lot of times I'm just picking up on what Steve is doing. You know, he'll, he would just break into a dance and then I would sort of just try and keep up with him.